if I were Grizzly Adams, and if I had All Day Long, or Daniel Boone, or Davy Crockett, they would know what these tracks were. They would, like, take the time and positively identify them. And, you know, they don't have the internet. They didn't have the internet. They would be like, this is what they, they know. They walked on every single one of these tanks, and they walked around. <laughs> Good morning from Ridgehaven, and a cold morning it is. I don't know the temperature right now, but I think we were supposed to have a low of about 30, so it could be worse. You can see the smoke from our fire. I'm up the hill just taking a morning walk, and I noticed something interesting, and this video actually makes it look lighter than it is. It's actually still kind of dark. It's just becoming light, but I was by the water tanks and I noticed these prints and it kind of looks like we've had a bear visiting our water tanks so I'm gonna do a close-up and so far they it, I see four distinct toe marks and so I know a bear has five so it could be something else but these look like they have been smudged and so let's just take a look at first when you look at these they just look like a big mess and I do have a light, so it probably would be better if I came when it was actually daylight because this is making such a glare. But this first one, you can see the toe prints and you can see at the top, at least I can, the claw marks. Now these are all around here. They're, they're smeared because this is slippery. They are... So this one is not as big, so maybe it's a dog. I'm gonna look it up. But would a dog climb on a, a water tank or could it be a cat? We've had reports of cats in our area from people who've seen them on their wildlife cams. And of course, we have had bears recently. We've seen their, their marking. Well, we know that we've had a bear just last week. He was messing with our, our stuff. So I, my first thought was a bear, but let, I don't know. Let's just check and see. Over here on this one, there's the print. And compared to my hand, it's about the same size, but you know, with mud smearing, who knows? Because this one looks a little smaller than my hand so I don't know I'm kind of leaning not a bear I'm leaning more something else but they walked all over the tanks and so I don't think dogs walk on tanks I would put more stock in a cat so I'm gonna look up some footprints and see these have been a little bit smeared but not washed away we we have really muddy areas so you guys who know tracks analyze these blobs, or maybe they're just psychologist blobs and nothing else. They're all over. Apparently the, the animal was trying to get a drink and couldn't do it. Since it's still a little dark and I can't see super well and my fingers are about to freeze because I didn't really come up here to take my hands out of my pockets, I'm gonna come back when it's sunny and we'll see if I can see any. Cause I do see some prints on the ground, but it's too dark to make heads or tails out of them. So let's just <laughs> check back on that. It is a very crunchy morning as I walk. The mud under my feet is frosted and frozen and everything around is super frosty, no snow yet. Just really crunchy and I love to see the ice crystals sparkling everywhere. Right now it's just in my flashlight glow, so it doesn't make a very good picture, but we're getting into the winter land. what we call the frosty sage. We'll see if 
that makes it past sun up when the sun shines on these frosty leaves. Okay, now we're back up here in the light of day to take a look at these paw prints. Somehow I think it's a little bit easier when you're a little far away to get the shape of them than when you're up close. This one on the right has the overall shape of a bear print. And I think I do see five toes. First I thought I could just see four, but that one over to the left might be a toe. I don't know. They're obviously smeared. This one here, one, two, three, four, five as well. And most of these other ones are just too smeared to make much sense out of them. I wish I could tell anywhere else, but the ones around here are just too, too smudged to be able to tell what we've got, but this one here, it's a pretty good size. My hand next to it, and my hand is small, I wear a size six glove, and so it's a size small. So it's a little on, it's pretty much on par with the size of my hand, but I would say that it's smudged in this region where it probably had some of the leg pushing on it. But it looks like one, two, three, four for sure, paw, uh, you know, fingerprints, and that might be one as well. I'm not really good at tracking, but it walked through here. It walked all along here, and then it slid right there, which is really, let me walk on the other side and see what I see, because it obviously climbed up this way, and, Uh, yeah. Well, either way, we know that we've had bears around within the last week. We've had bears. We haven't personally seen a big cat up here, but just within a couple miles, they have seen one. And then we didn't see the bear from last week, but boy, did we see the damage. He made a bed in our sawdust pile, and that may seem like, oh, that's not big, a big deal. How would you even know? It's a giant, it was a giant mountain of sawdust, and he hollowed out, he flattened the, the pile, and then he made himself a bed. But the reason why we knew someone had come is because we had a trailer with trash ready to go, and he made a huge mess of that trash. I was so mad at him. Whew. That was about, that was the week before last because it was the Friday before last that we cleaned all that up and hauled it off before he could do any more damage. I'm gonna look for any more signs of this bear. So needless to say, probably needless to say, since we saw the bear that week and a half ago, I have not come up here before dark or after dark it, until this morning. It was it was getting light. It was about 6.30 in the morning. So I normally will come up here often and walk and just look at the stars because it's a panorama of, of sky as much as we get around here. But I've been a little bit nervous. Even though he may be a small bear, I didn't really want to meet him all by myself. These certainly aren't bear tracks. <laughs> they look like raccoon or possum tracks and they're pretty distinctive. They've been up here. It's kind of fun to see what has been up here, especially when we have all this mud. Now where I'm tracking the raccoon or possum tracks is the next level down. We have several terraces down the hill so that we have gardens and, and things on. So I'm on the next one down because there's a ton of mud down here. As you can see, it's all around me. And the other tracks that I see are Andrew tracks from his four-wheeler. Little hand prints, which I think are raccoon and cat prints. <laughs> Always cat prints. 
but I thought if we had a chance of seeing any tracks, it was gonna be here in the mud. And so far, I don't see any big animal tracks. So chances are that terrace is right behind me, above the rocks. That little shelf up there is where the other water tanks are. You can't really see them because they're over the, the bump in the hill. But if any animal came, I'm assuming, since I don't see any tracks down here, that they came straight from the woods behind them and must have smelled the water. There's the tanks. They must have smelled the water and decided to get a drink. Although there should be water around. We've had so much rain, it's extremely muddy. They were clearly after the tank that had the water. That was the one that had all the tracks on it. My husband just said, put some water out for them. <laughs> Maybe they won't bother our tank. I wanted to confirm the tracks, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna get to do that. No big deal. You know, you learn tracking in Pathfinders and all the wilderness survival stuff. You kind of like to be able to use it and get a positive footprint. I do see a track here. It has the, the palm and several toes. Hard to tell. One, two, three, four, I think five. Could be imagining it. Sometimes you start to look at things and they start to look like what you think they should look like. Yeah, I, these have been rustled up. Ah, here's some right here. You know, it could be just big dogs coming through, but then I thought, you know, dogs are not gonna climb on tanks. Now here's one for sure that I can tell. Let's count the paw, or the, the toes. One, two, three, four. And I'm never quite sure about that fifth paw, that fifth toe. Here's a paw encrusted with ice. Oh well, the only way that we would know is if somebody has seen tracks like this before, then they would say, oh yeah, that looks just like a mountain lion, or that looks just like a brown bear, not a brown bear. <laughs> A black bear, we get black bears in our area. I'm actually seeing these paw prints all the way up um, our hill, coming from the woods, coming up the side of our trail up to the tanks. So it's like they walk the same trail that I walk. We have a lot of coyotes around here. And could have been a thirsty coyote. <laughs> what do I know? I see some in the mud. Let's take a look. This is a pretty good print. And unfortunately, the toes are crumpled up as well. One, two, three, four. And then it, the, the body of it slid. All of these that are here have slid. There's one, two. It just looks like four toes. Uh, there's actually one to the side there. One, two, three, four, and a possibly one. Huh. And I probably already walked through here, but the thing is, since it was so cold, I said it was 30 this morning, but I was wrong. It was more like 23 this morning. So it's kind of holding those in the position that they were. Now this one, the toes went deep. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So that suggests a bear print. And they're deep because this mud was... Um, was deeper. And here's another one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's the one where I can tell for sure there's five toes. That's the easiest one to tell. You know, these Pathfinder skills come in pretty handy. If you don't know what Pathfinders is, it's our church's version of Boy Scouts slash Girl Scouts. It's co-ed and it's taught us so many wonderful things over the years. Our, our boys are still in there even though they've kind of aged out because we just love it. And they've extended the age in our club to make sure that the kids have something to do. All right, I'm not really sure if there's any more around to see. All right, you guys had your nature lesson for the day. <laughs> 
wasn't planning on this, but you know, when opportunity strikes, you just go with it. There's my shadow. Just me and my shadow. Oh, yeah, there's still prints here. I'm probably stepping on some of them. Here's one with the toes. I'm trying to take the pictures because here recently I've gotten so much video footage that I don't take pictures like I used to. They're all through here. So what I'm seeing is this bear was walking this way. He was walking down the hill when he made these tracks. So he could have come from the woods, gotten a drink, and then decided he was gonna come visit our little homestead. Or he might have done that because look, here's some that are going up. He might have just wandered around. Here's a really good one. A good print, if you can see it. It's easier to see when you're in person. One, two, three, four, and who knows, but there's the palm. I know everybody's not a nature nerd like me, but I really do like nature. And as long as I don't meet these guys, I'm okay. <laughs> you get the idea, but as I go down this hill, I am seeing lots of tracks. I'm seeing, oh, I see one with good deep claw marks. And I think there's only four, so I'm back and forth. Is it a dog, is it a bear? Unless he was walking on top of his tippy toes. Here's some. This one's clearly the best one of all. You can count the toes, you can see it embedded deep. And I see a definite one, two, three, four, five toes. And even a couple of claw marks, I think. There's one that's not as defined but it's deep. But this one's the best of all. So yeah, definitely a bear. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about this, but I'm just saying I'm pretty sure that this was recent because Andrew had ridden the four-wheeler up here and rather than seeing mostly four-wheeler tracks, we're seeing those that are filled with water and then we're seeing these on top of them. So who knows really what is happening in the woods when we're asleep. I'm guessing they come when we're asleep because we probably hear their ruckus during the day, but aren't these leaves pretty with the frost? Because I overfilled the tank and we have some water running down the hill, I have a perfectly filled paw print. And yes, there are five toes and that is a bear claw. And it's, let's see if you can tell not quite as big as my hand, but the toes are bigger than my hand. So, yep, yeah, there we have it. We do have a trail camera, which is not set up down, like up in the woods, because we had it down by our mailbox. But it'll be fun to set that up and see what we capture and say it's gonna be all kinds of things. What kind of things have you seen in your woods around your property? Have you seen bears? Have you seen bobcats? How about, well, we all know there's coyotes. Anything interesting in your neck of the woods? The bottom line is I didn't see the bear and he didn't see me unless he was peeping in the windows, which I suppose he could have done, that sneaky old bear. I have woken up the next day. I haven't seen any fresh bear tracks. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but we haven't seen any more trash because we haven't given him any more to scatter. And we are gonna just keep living our lives, trying to get along and let the bear have his zone and we'll have our zone and everybody will be happy. This is definitely the last rose on our homestead. 